Hi, it's Sue. Welcome back to my channel today. Um, I'm working on Rachel's um, weekly challenge. And this week it was all about making a um, hinged pocket. I've made up four and decorated four here, but I've left three that we can decorate together. Um, <laughs> that looks like one of my usual not quite straight labels, oh dear, never mind. Um, this one was made from a book page, clearly. It was so pretty, I thought, well, let's give that a try. And it's quite a substantial page, so it's um, quite sturdy. And I've made the alternative um, design, which allows for this tuck, side tuck pocket. So if I can show you what that means, hang on a moment. Let's get something. So if that was my journal page, and this is the center spine, this would fit over the journal page and I would um, glue top and bottom. And then when you turn the page over, this would be a flip. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Rachel probably explains that better than me, but that's the alternate pocket. And I quite like that one. So I've made a couple of those, or I've left one that we can do together. Um, but that's one. And then, yeah, I've decorated three that are the standard flips. So it just has the sort of half inch flip piece at the side. And it depends how you orientate these, which way they will flip. So I've got a bit of a mixture. Yeah, these two flick this way. And I've decorated the front, what I call the front, like so. And then you flick it over and I've organized the writing space on the back and of course it's a pocket so there's room for a tag or journal card whatever inside that's a longer version of the same and I've done the same here I've organized the journaling space and decorated this side okay so that's three and this one this one is orientated different so this one opens this way and what I've done with this one is I've added another flip. So it flips this way, but then this one flips this way. And you know, you could journal on that piece. Still got the top pocket. I actually stitched around this because the card or the paper I used around was a bit. Um, packing paper really and it was a bit creased as you can see so that's the fourth one okay so they're the four that I've completed let's just set those aside so then I've got these two that I've organized I know exactly what I want to do with them but this one is a tall one and it uses a full size piece of paper. I've just trimmed about two inches or an inch and three quarters off. I've obviously had this somewhere wet and it's stained. So I've got to cover that. But this is one that I want the corner, the uh, side tuck. So that's what that is there. And I think actually that's the correct way around. So that will fit on a page like so and you'll turn the page and this will be at the back or it'll be wherever you slot this in your book in your journal but it will be a pocket obviously right so 
And what I've done, I've done exactly the same as Rachel. I've turned over a very fine border here, just to make that a bit stronger. Um, you could do the same at the top. Um, will I? How much does this, what does this measure? Eight inches. Yep, why not? Let's turn over about three quarters of an inch, I'd say that was. And I mean, really, this, this could be done on the um, scoreboard. I might do that because I'm not very... Here we go. On scoreboard. Perfect. So along this edge, which is yeah, the top, we'll score at half an inch. And that's plenty. Okay, push that over there. Hold that down. So, and we'll glue that into position. So I'll use the art glitter glue, I think. How are you today? It's um, Thursday here, and I've had quite a busy week. I haven't posted an awful lot. I did Marguerite Miller's um, collage assignment. That went up. But other than that, I've been having a bit of a clean and tidy around my craft room. Putting away all the junk journal January bits. It's amazing how much stuff you end up with around your desk. Okay. Alright, so I have folded over, well, I think that's about an inch and three quarters. Yeah, an inch and three quarters to give me that side, uh, side tuck. And then I have folded to just to the right of that score. Okay, so that will give me my pocket. Oops. And we'll glue down on two sides. So this is the side that meets up to the score line and across the bottom. There we go. And that's not very straight. What did I do there? Okay, don't worry about that, I'll fix that up after. Okay. It's not very straight, is it? Oh well. Hey ho. We could trim along there, I guess. But I'm going to put um, a little thumb notch in anyway. Um, so let's decorate the page first. And I've got a couple of bits here. And I know I need to cover that. It's down here. Okay. Just pull this down. And then I've got a paper doily. And I could tuck that right round to that side. And I think I will. Okay, so let's get this one down. And this is printed on very thin paper. So glue stick will do that. Good 
thickness. There we are. And the next is my doily. Art glitter glue around the outside edges and um, my glue stick around the center, the filled in. Okay. And then this is my fussy cut flower. Look at these. I had a wonderful time. I bought some um, digitals, fussy cut flowers from a girl over in the UK. I'll add her details down below. There are some beautiful flowers in here and all sorts of pretty colors. So it's a really good mixture. Um, I might just do a little bit of inking around this one. Doesn't have to be much, just up around the top more to, to help it stand out on that doily really. Okay, a glue stick will be fine for that one. It's pretty windy here at the moment. We had um, we had to go out for some grocery shopping and when we came back, we came back just as a storm hit around our area and um, there was light hail in it. It was horrible. Uh, really heavy rain, you could hardly see in front of you. Um, but it passed quite quickly and the sun came out and the sun is glorious at the moment. But there is thunder rumbling around, so I think we're in for some more. Right, last thing is that little label at the bottom. See if I can get that on straight. Not too bad. Okay, now what am I going to do about that? I might just use my ruler and straighten that off a bit. Um, we'll just ink that top edge. And I will center it up, keeping this side flap out of the way. About there. And we also want a notch here on this piece. So again, roughly in the center. Oh, I've moved my bin off the table and uh, I miss it. It's funny, isn't it? I keep going to throw things into that corner of my table and it's not there. <laughs> okay, so that just leaves this side to decorate and I want to decorate that, oh, will I just, let's have a look. I've got glue on that side. We could go something like that. I think the pansies are a bit small. Yeah, I might leave that because it really depends what I'm going to put in that side pocket. It may well be that I don't add anything there. So we'll leave that for now and call this one finished. Now, because I like stitching on mine, I could well stitch around three sides of that. We'll see. But for now, that one's done. And then next I've got this, 
which was a digital printable. Um, came from the graphics fairy, this one. And I thought, well, that could be quite nice, just as a flip. I didn't mind that at all. So I thought if I decorated, again, decorate one side, maybe have um, a label or something on the other side for journaling, or maybe decorate that too. Once it goes into a journal, I'll have a better idea what I want to do. So let's see, let me see, do we need to double anything over? Yeah, we might do the top. I'll just have a look at that. Just scored that on the scoreboard. Let's see if I can do a better job of turning it. Okay, this time what I'll do is I'll take out the corner um, on each end just to get rid of some of the bulk. Glue that down. Just short of the fold line, the crease. Perfect. And now glue on two sides. These are, are quite quick. I mean, even if you just made up, you know, got to this far and left the decorating until you were ready to add them to a journal would be quite good. Good to have. So there we go, that's that one. And we'll punch the top. Don't know where that ended up. Um, okay. So it's that side. Or that side. No, I think it's this side, isn't it? I like to be able to see this. Okay, again we'll do a little bit of light um, inking. Nothing too heavy. stuck down. Um, just do some light inking around the edge. There we go, and that's that one. Just three pieces of decoration. I mean, you could add other labels, but I think that's nice enough as it is. And on this side, well, who knows? I might just put a bigger label for journaling. We'll see. So that's that one. And, um, but then I thought what I might do is have a go with dictionary, a dictionary page. So this is my dictionary page. It's quite thin. I've allowed a fair bit at the side for the hinge and I have turned under, just under an inch I'd say, at the top. And I thought that looked quite nice. And for this one, when I looked at it, the words on it are S, S words. I've got, where did I see, stocking, stomp, stooge, a strong, but worst of all, stripper, strip, um, strip tease. oh goodness. So I thought I'd better try and cover some of that up. So um, 
another doily to the rescue, I think. And I've got this offcut here that I thought might go at the top of my page. This beautiful, big, bright, bold flower and a label. So I should glue it all down first, shouldn't I? So we'll use glue stick on this top. the art glitter glue down on the two sides, the bottom and the side piece that is. Hold them over. Glue them down. This one very straight either. What's the matter with me? That's fine. whether I can Let's have a look. It's a bit white. Mind that. My greens are a bit like this. Actually, I do quite like that because it's on a dictionary page, and um, this is obviously from a dictionary. I think I quite like that. Leave that one out for the moment. Yeah, this is a bigger doily, slightly bigger. Ooh, that's thunder. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. Okay, that one. So we'll just finish this off with some scissors. There we go. Put that piece aside. My noisy ruler over there. Okay. Yeah, I like that one. We'll do the same. I'll use the um, our glitter glue around the edge. And just uh, use, um, use a spot in these areas here, just to help secure it. But the center, I use my glue stick.
there we go. So these are my um, flip pages, flip pockets for Rachel's weekly challenge. We've got a dictionary page, just a straightforward flip, and I think I'd probably put some journaling paper on the back of this one. It would help make it a bit sturdy for whatever goes in the pocket. So we've got that one. We've got a tall, skinny one. I haven't decorated that, but I think I'll do similar to what I did on this one and just put some die cut flowers. It's the perfect size for that. Okay, that was the one done from a book page, a pictured book page. Um, we'll turn that one over to the pretty side. This was another tall flip. It's quite pretty. Pop that one there. And then we've got, oh, three more. Small flips to different sides. One, two, three. Did I say four? Okay, that's the double flip. All right, there we go. I think that's my favorite, but I think it's possibly more to do with the, um, that pretty flower. Okay, so that's it for me for today. Hope you liked that one. And I uh, hope you can call back for the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.